Hello. Morning. So, uh, I didn't have the GoPro earlier. My morning went completely crazy. It was in the truck. So here we are now. So, we were doing chores and boom, truck rolls in. We weren't set up, so we had to scramble around, get the auger set up. And uh, in my last video, you've seen that this floor was all corn and we had a big pile. And now we just have a nice little pile here. That will work out perfect. I think there's about 800 to 1,000 bushel there, maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll put it in wagons, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we are going to put the corn head in a corner for the time being. And we're going to go put... Oh, come on. I'm going to go put diesel in the combine and get ready, because I do believe today we're going to get back at her. Uh, sunny out, got a breeze. I don't think it's gonna be an early start, but we are gonna get started again. So let's rock and roll. Okay. <clears throat> so this combine, I don't know why, but it just drains the battery constantly. Even though there's a kill switch here, it went into full line or John Deere multiple times to get looked at. Nobody can find out why it's draining. Try different programming. Long story short, it was just easy to put a battery tender, plug it in when you're not using it. It's all right, you know, if you use it every day, but you know, it's been a week. Um, it, the odds are good it would start, but it might, you can just hear it turn over slow. So that's easy. Way we go, because I hate dead batteries. The only problem with the battery tender, if nobody else knows it's plugged in, they could drive away with the cord down there, but everybody is aware. That's for sure. All right. There's my brother getting a piece of cardboard. We're just gonna put the corn head right in the far corner on our cement. We just don't want to scratch the cement. So, we'll be good. Let me fill this baby up. Right, I guess while I'm up here, wouldn't be a bad idea to just check oil. Should be good. They literally, we just changed it. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Make sure you put the other ladder down. There you go. Pull. Okay, go drop that head. basically we're just putting cardboard under what they call them stock stompers don't really want it to mark the uh, or the uh, concrete just gonna unhook mind just put them underneath the pads not the stock stompers there's pads underneath the head that's supposed to sit on so it doesn't just sit flat and it sits up anyways long story short looks good that will be will be everything for now until 
we decide it's time to harvest. So while we're waiting for beans to dry, which it should, I mean, we got a beautiful breeze, sun's out, uh, feed has got to be made, but that's going to be for another video, not today, so later. All right, I do got some time, I said things aren't ready yet, um, I might as well get these wagons in the spot they need to be in. Then we'll get the head out to the spot it needs to be in, so when it is time, we're ready. Good news is everything that we're doing today is right on the home farm, so I can walk. I don't know if you can see him wrapping my brother starting to climb the leg. He's going to grease it. Good. It's not gonna lie to you. I hate doing that. But I will. Okay, so in the last video, I was talking about things being wore out. This is a, a plastic bushing here. They're all the way around the head, all the way along. And then this bushing here was a little bit worn out. So we replaced all those. So the head is officially ready to go again. Yeah, there's a better, yep, good to go. So what I think was going on is they were wore out and there was space. So you'd get one piece of straw stuck in there and then once it went, then you get that wrap effect and you're upset, okay. Let's get this baby going. The one was up greasing, he inspected the belts and, you think that'll work? We're gonna get a new one. Okay, see Wes is putting the tongue down. He needs a tractor so he can take the feed down, so better get him one. Go on, hook this. Get over there, hook it onto the feed wagon. Get it down, make sure the chickens are fed so the afternoon should go smooth. That is key. I hate when days go like crap. Anyways, it's a good, good thing that beans aren't ready yet because it's been a bit of a busy morning, which I don't mind. There we go. Come on, baby. This tractor here pretty much gets used every day. It's the loader tractor, it's handy to have. Got 5,500 hours on her, but she's a good one. Fuel efficient, that's for sure. get a safety pin. I see we're missing it. But he's ready to go pretty well. Yeah, you gotta keep these things on hand. I don't know where they go. Now we're safe. Yet again, lights work. Okay, we're rolling. <laughs> Beans are coming in. This is Ryan. He's actually from London. Uh, he's my brother's flight instructor. Want to come out and see what we do so here we are um, he was actually checking out extracurricular activities but this is what we do mainly on the farm so uh ryan what do you think it's pretty cool man yeah machinery is like this yeah oh man this is a life it's not bad it's pretty good i'm glad to be rolling finally uh so over the next few days we'll lop off a bunch of acres and um, i'll pass you guys off to my brother later and he'll get the inside of the buggy Show, show everybody what goes on in there and what he's going to, gonna do. All right, uh, I'll pass you guys off to my brother now. We're gonna go to the next field. We 
just finished this one, so that was good. Everything went well. And, uh, yeah, let's pass you off to the buggy man. Field one done. Going to field number two. field. Full house, we got is that Daddy? Peter James, the man, the myth, the legend, is Cartier. That, is that PJ's? PJ's that, what? Is that our dad's? Yes. Yeah, you're coming right over there. Hello. Hello. Get us to the wagons on time. Carter in here with me. This is family farming at its best. Gotta love these moments. Beans are running good. Looks like we're averaging about 64 bushels an acre in this field, which is phenomenal. All right, so. In the last video, I was talking about the Dreamo meter, uh, but we ended up finishing that other field, weighing it all out, and we were spot on to the bushel. So I would say the yield monitor is accurate. So what I'm showing you, that's what's going on. So we're pretty, pretty happy with the beans this year so far. Oh yeah, good looking sample.
are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> He's being, maybe I'm being silly, I don't know. Time to do the old switcheroo. Oh, what's gonna happen here? We got one coming up and one trying to go down. Probably not gonna work out. Oh, there we go. They're getting it figured out. There goes one. How's it going, little man? Shut the door. Awesome. I got a bean on the way. Perfect. Don't leave any behind. I like what, where you're going with that. All right. Oh my gosh, you got a bean in here. Yeah. I'm serious, look. I know, it's awesome. Get it out, we, we can't leave any in the field. That's how we make our money. Cambridge and Stony Creek and at stonex.ca. EGA, flight 716. The bonds are New York City. With 256 souls on board. It was in flight. Alrighty, it's got the field number three. Bye bye, B. Bye bye. It's Cartier. Oh. <laughs> okay. You alright? Yeah. What do you got? Um, some beans. Nice. How are they looking? Good. 65 bushel plus average. Hopefully. night just got too tough so go back blow this thing off put it in the shop and you know what that means so a day that's for sure glad to actually get going not just 20 acres worth Solid day. Cheers.